Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to move into the foundation math assessment paper number one. So I need you to have your questions at hand because we're going to move in very fast right now. Okay, the first question, let's take a look at your paper right now. Your first question is this. Um, the table below shows the prices of colored paper sold at the bookshop. Oh, excuse me, my phone. Okay, and... Um, Elaine bought four pieces of colored paper. How much did she pay? Now, for this kind of data analysis questions, I need you to take a very close look at how the graph um, says, uh, puts the data across, okay? In the case, in this case, you see, it says number of colored paper for the first 10 pieces. That means every piece that is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and the tenth, it's going to cost you 50 cents per piece, piece. Not together, but 50 cents each. Okay? And then every additional piece, that means every additional piece after the 10th piece, in other words, number 11, number 12, number 13, and so on and so forth, is going to be 40 cents. Now, why do people do this? People do this so as to encourage the customers to buy more. So, for example, let's imagine that I am at a I'm the tuck shop auntie. Sorry, I'm at the bookshop auntie, okay? And the thing is, I always see people buying maybe eight or nine pieces of colored paper. And I ask myself, how can I make more money? I can make more money if I encourage them to buy more. How can I do this? I can do this by telling them, okay, every additional piece after the 10th one, you get it at a cheaper rate of 40 cents. So that boosts sales and that helps me to get more money. So that's the reason why people do this, okay? So in this case, Elaine bought four pieces of colored paper. So I'm going to switch to my uh, pen mode here, okay? I'm going to draw for you in terms of uh, what the graph said, which is first 10. That means one, oops, sorry. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much will this cost? This will cost me 50 cents each, Okay? And anything above, in other words, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, etc., etc., and so on and so forth, is going to cost me how much? It's only going to cost me 40 cents. So if Elaine, or part A, Elaine bought, Elaine, bought, Elaine bought four, that means we are still in the first four. Am I right? One, two, three, four. So we are still in the first ten, the first category over here. We are still in this category. That means how much will it cost us? It will still cost us 50 cents. You're, you're right, correct. So good job, yeah? 50 cents. So all you have to do is count how many pieces she bought, which is four, times how much does each one cost? 50 cents. And hence the answer is actually equals to two dollars. Got it? High five. Now, for part B, for part B, it's a little bit more complicated, okay? Let's take a look at the question again. The question says, Benny bought 15 pieces of colored paper. How much did he pay? Now, he bought 15. Okay, so if we have our graph up there, right? Like, like such. What we'll, we will see is, we will notice, take a look at my blue pen here. Yeah? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then he bought that's, that's all this 10 is for how much? 50 cents each, correct. But the 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and so on and so forth, will only cost me how much? 40 cents. You're right. Good job. So how do we how do we do questions like this? Now, for your working, uh, I know this is a bit different than normal, but I want you to just visualize how this would come out. So what I would do in an exam is I would do this. So 15, I have 15 colored paper, all right? What I want to do is, I want to break it down into two parts. That means the first 10, which will cost me how much? 50 cents. And how much do I have left? 15 minus 10. I have 5 pieces additional. That means 5 extra pieces. And this will cost me how much? 40 cents. And this will cost me how much? 50 cents. So, in total, I have actually 10 pieces times 50 cents each, and 5 pieces times 40 cents each. So the answer is, the first step you want to do is you have to type in 10 times 50 cents will give me how much? $5. Okay? And the next one is, we have 5 pieces at how much? 
40 cents, which will give you how much? $2. And hence, the answer is $5 plus $2 because we, in the end, we bought how many? We bought 15 which gives you $7. And that's how much Benny paid for that amount. Now, a lot of people ask, why is it so easy for you, Coach Cycle? Why do you see these things almost automatically? The answer is because I have practiced more than you. <laughs> I have probably practiced more in the last 10 years than you have in, the, in, the, in your whole life, right? So that's why I can see faster than you. So the only way for you to actually do that, to be able to score A stars in your foundation math exam, is to just do this. To realize that the more I practice, the easier it gets. Say it with me, the more I practice, the easier it gets. That's all there is to it, alright? So with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.